Greebos, and welcome back to downloadable content. It must be Monday because that's right. Say it with me now. Wait, he's not here, is he? Don't, 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 don't shh, shh. He could pop up. Okay, good. All right. It's Mod Showcase Monday! Monday! This week, I have about five mods. I know not a lot, but five awesome mods to share with you personally. That's right, Max. I have five mods for you. So without further ado, let's get things rolling and have a peek. The first mod we're gonna take a look at today is really cool. It's pretty innovative actually. It's called Eagle Vision by Tech Trees. And yes, it is that Eagle Vision right out of the Assassin's Creed universe. The first thing you'll need to do is go to your Armada of Crystals and find the Mine Crystal. You need at least a tier two Mine Crystal. Put that in the Obelisk and all the stuff will appear. Look for this guy right here, the Assassin's Creed one. Grab that. So it says, channel focus alters your senses, allowing you to see other creatures through walls. Isn't that cool sounding? So let's try that out. We're gonna test things out with a chicken and not just any chicken, Jonathan the chicken. So this is the neutral version of chicken. We're gonna make a, an angry version of the chicken, which doesn't have any attack aggro, and a friendly version of the chicken. So now, what we do is if I use slow motion, which is your channel focus, so I go into slow motion, and it's gonna change them. Look, so this is the neutral chicken. He is white, right? Look at him. You can see that his, his stasis is that, this one's angry at me, so if he was real AI, <laughs> he would be angry. And this is the blue one to signal that he's friendly. So, if I was to go behind something, let's say this door and close it, and then I activate Eagle Vision, you could see them through things. Now, uh, in uh, mod showcases, I, I leave on all the cheats, so that way I can do be infinite. So, there's an infinite amount of focus right now, so it's not gonna go away. But if you're playing normally, then yes, it will go away. That was really cool how that landed. I don't think I could replicate that. And of course, the same thing will go for um, other NPCs that aren't chicken. So let, let's let's take a look at that one. So this will be a friendly one. That's an angry one. And then that is, oh, no, that's the friendly one. That's the neutral one. So now let's go indoors where nothing bad can happen to you. And let's channel Eagle Vision. Look around and I, I don't see anyone yet. Are they getting cold? Are they too far away and they're getting cold? It's not working. May I have to go back outside and see them first? Hello? Are you guys... All right, so there's a distance. All right, so there's a distance for it. So if I'm over here, I can't see them. So that way... Interesting. Interesting. Maybe this is a way to test the physics calling. Let me get a little further away and do it. Um, no. Huh. I guess I can't see directly through things that well. Oh, it can't see through multiple walls. That's what it is. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. So, now that we know that, let's go ahead and uh, go into a dungeon. Which one is angry? You're the angry one. Time to go into a dungeon and really test out the Assassin's Creed Eagle Vision. But, of course, the first thing we need to do is suit up. So, ready to rock and roll. So, we spawn into the outpost. Let's activate Eagle Vision. See if we see anyone. Yeah, look. Evil red guys up there. This is... <laughs> That is cool. You know we have to do this. Let's just pretend, pretend I'm, I'm good at this game and I, I climb there and I didn't get seen, okay? Can we pretend that? Thank you. So, here I am on this thing, ready to activate my eagle vision. And that guy's all red and wireframe now. And that th he threw a rock at me? Okay, well, I guess I wasn't going to do this stealthfully. It doesn't matter, so... <laughs> I, I just love the cool effects like this that change the game dynamic. Well, that was funny. Can we just end your career so I can see through the next wall? Thank you. So now let's check. You probably can't see through the whole dungeon, but Eagle Vision. Looking around. Don't see anyone. Keep going. We're climbing up here. So if I activate it. Oh, there we go. Is it a... What is it? Oh, that's a horse. I had the horse installed. I'm like, what the hell is that thing? So we at least know that there is an angry guy right there. He's going to turn his back. Good. Get ready to get Assassin's Creed Oh, there's two there. Good. Nope. You're done. And now, tell me your deepest fears. Are you angry? Yeah, he's angry. There we go. All nice and educational. This horse is hilarious. He's just... 
we can read his mind. Does your mind say you're friendly or an enemy? Friendly. So we're good. You don't have to do anything to him. This is a very cool mod. I can see myself using it all the time, especially in dungeon runs like this one. So, great work. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Speaking of horses, up next is pretty much, well, an addendum to Huge Honor's horse one. It's called Vi's War Horse by Vivence1997. The easiest way to do this is to make sure you have Talon's NPC spawner spell. So I'm gonna go into that section. And right here, select creature I have my war horse with saddle. So now we're gonna select our NPC spawner spell. And just in case, I'm gonna make a friendly version of it. We'll, we'll put the strapping young lad right there. Now, if you're wondering why he just looks red right now, it's because I threw the other one on the roof because I, I spawned the wrong one, but I spawned the right one now. So Vi's version, of course, uses all the armor into like one thing. It's almost like a, a template that it's saving. So that's pretty much what it's doing. Oh, it pooped. Dude, I let you on the island for like two minutes and you immediately take a shit. Well, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna get on this bad boy, grab here and then on mode. Good. So now we have reins. So I, I never got the reins to work and I believe you kind of just go like this. Yeah, and you're able to go much faster <laughs> by waggling your arms and turning it left and right. Yeah, that is cool. That is excellent. I love this one. <laughs> And of course, we're gonna have to use the war horse to do, well, war horse things, of course. I said of course too much. Of course! Doesn't matter. We're gonna spot an angry guy way over there. Good. He looks like a sorcerer. I'm gonna get my spear. I feel like I'm playing like Dynasty Warriors. Let's go! And closer, closer, closer! That's on him. He had a, a chance. And my horse fell. Okay, don't move, don't move. Come here, come here. What are you doing? Stop! No! Every time the horses, do you, can you just beat him up for me? All right, hey, this guy's being obnoxious, so, uh, sorry, man, career's over. Let's get back on this guy. He's gonna kind of freak out for a second, but now we're gonna have two angry guys. One, two, good. This is what I've been waiting for. Let's back him up, grab the reins. Can you guys pay attention? Thank you. It's a mod showcase, and I gotta tell the NPCs to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I fall off the horse immediately? I think maybe I'm accidentally pressing the crouch button and, that, and that's what's doing it. Here we go! And, ah, oh, damn. It's really hard being a, an equestrian enthusiast. Oh, there we go. We won the day. Moving on, we have an update to a fan favorite mod. It's Assassin's Arsenal's by Assassin's Arsenal's. Fuck! Moving on, we have an update to a fan favorite mod. It's Assassin's Arsenal by Huge Honor, specifically the Phantom Blade. Now, what we're gonna need to do is go inside our beautiful house here and go all the way over to the player book. Not this book or this book. This book right here, find Assassin's Arsenal and scroll all the way through here and you will see Phantom Bolt, Phantom Blade left and Phantom Blade right. So let's focus on Phantom Blade right. I'm gonna equip it in my right hand here and I'm gonna go scroll back all the way up to Phantom Bolt and I'm going to spawn that one, take the bolts and put them on my side here. Look how awesome this is. So I press the trigger twice, then the grip and you see this, it's way easier to aim this one than um, we used to have tools of the trade and I, I never got good at aiming the crossbow. Uh, that was mounted because it seemed like it it fired from here and this one fires from the the actual hand versus the other one fired from the forearm but what is important is you need to actually put a bolt in here you see how there's nothing in here but it makes a really cool sound so let's grab ourselves a bolt pull it back and make sure it's in there just like that now we are ready to fire at an unsuspecting creature and by creature i mean this guy so aim and fire the bolt wow you would you would think it was good at this game turn around fire Oh, son of a... I got the third time's a charm. Oh, yeah, see? Did it in one try. That is so cool. Like, ugh. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is... Uh, this is a great mod. And we're gonna really have to t test my depth perception. Let's equip two of them. I will need two volunteers for this. So let's put one there, one there. Now, we will equip this. Bolt that one here. Like so. Can I let go of this stay? No. How do you fire... Can you not do two at a time then? How would I bolt both of these? So I could do that. Um. Um. Someone help. How would you do this? Is it like, maybe I do this? Eh. Eh. <laughs> I'm not able to do it. No. 
Oh, my dreams! Well, damn it. You can only do one at a time because of logistics issues. Oh, wait. No, my brain's not working. Doesn't matter. What is the angle of this, too? Okay, let's find out. If I do it upside down and I aim that way, does it just shoot straight? Okay, so it does. So I'm firing it that way. Okay. And then... Interesting. I think I can master this one if given, like, nine hours. Let's do it in slow motion and go really Assassin's Creed. You are white. You have fallen. I love this mod. If there is a way that I can, like, do both at the same time and have two shots, I would like that way. But right now, my dreams are just dreams. In the summertime where the weather's warm And you punch yourself right in the groin And you're all like, oh, what happened to my groin? Our penultimate entry on today's list is Space Marines by Baby F. I don't think I should show you on the player home. We've done enough uh, damage here. So let's go on a little adventure. And that adventure might bring us to... Not there. Um, Citadel? No. Sanctuary, that sounds like I planned it. Now that we're in the beautiful land of Cospi's Church, we're gonna go up over here to our book. Scroll down into the apparel section and find the Space Marine category and get ready to dress up. We can be the T1 Marine first. Oh yes, brother, now it's for the Emperor. I've also gone on ahead and installed um, the Gifts of the Workshop, which is a separate mod and has requirements for the Outer Rim, but we can have a lace pistol, a saber, a las gun. Let's do this. I've installed some undead creatures to fight, so um, it makes sense. So if we're going to do an exterminatus, we might as well do it on some undead things, you know? Feel like they're good guys, even though they're definitely not good guys in Space Marines. What's going on? Please, Pistol, you, did you block all of that? <laughs> I don't know why the Lays Pistol is so loud, but it just is. But look how cool I am. I'm a, I'm a legit space marine right now. I have space marine stuff. I could shoot him. You're, you're definitely not alive any longer. I also have eagle vision still because that's still installed. <laughs> Come here. You know, it's almost like uh, it makes sense now. Because uh, the ultramarines can like, see things, so I see through you. Let's see what the T2 looks like. Oh man, look at the T2. I feel like I have a jump pack that doesn't work. There's someone behind me? There is! You're exterminated. Do it, I dare you, Perry. Get the fuck out of the way. And now we test our tier three armor. Look how decorated I am. It makes sense that I have a sword, blast gun. I won't stop this this entire planet. So if you want to live out your um, real-life fantasies of being a, a space marine, or even an ultramarine in VR, now you can. Charge up the plasma, slow motion, and his career. Our final mod is technically a mod, but it's more about unlocking this game's true potential. So, our final mod is called Performance Test by The Idiot. Rather than manually trying to test it here on the player home, we are going to go, Cracks Knuckles, into like um, probably something that's really gonna hurt the computer. Why not go into the Citadel and destroy this machine? I love being on the Citadel, it's so great and I'm so happy that people in Nomad get to experience it. Even though you can't go as far as you can in the PC universe, I, I'm sorry, but... So, I digress. It's time to do the thing, I forgot what I was doing because I have ADHD. Oh yeah, the, the mod, the performance mod, in the book. Scroll all the way down until you find special. There it is. Special. You'll see performance test. This will do max alive 50 with 100 enemies. Please don't. This is, is this lying to, it says 100 enemies with max alive 50. This seems like someone's lying. Doesn't matter. Blow up my computer. Let's fly all the way up here. I really want to see them all spawn in and I, I want to feel the frames drop one by one as they do it. So I'm gonna hang out with our friend, Steven Siegel. Get it? Get, okay. I, I, what I believe this does is spawns every type of enemy that it can. So if you have mods installed, it will take those mods. Um, it, it, this seagull's really distracting. He's going at like 18 frames a second. But so it will take like, so I have the undead, 
It'll take the undead ones. It'll take the eye. Everything you have, this will get. And it will cap out, I guess, at 50 alive. So let's just uh, kind of wait for that. And while we're waiting, why not leave a comment telling me what's your favorite type of Pringle? Oh, I can tell you what, though. I can slowly start to feel this happening. <laughs> there. Let's, let's kind of go down there. Um, I don't know if all 50 of them are alive, but this is like a war zone. If I had an open battlefield and did this, oh man, I should have done that. I am not smart. But we get to at least see what this game, in theory, is capable of. These two are having, a, they're having it out, looking at each other. They're having to look at each other duel, that's cool. These guys are having an actual... You just murdered that! He looked like he was on your team also. Okay, well, that's cool. Like, every every moment in time right now is telling a story. Like, they have a whole story that just ended. These guys are still having their look at each other duel. Oh, but be careful. Mage, don't shoot at me. I'm, I'm not part of this. I'm just a, a conscientious observer. <laughs> and look at this over here. This is a battle. This is happening in real time. You know, I also have, like, the graphics set on max, max shadows, max lightning. Lightning? Max lighting? But if I were to turn some of that stuff down, you know, I think, oh my god, dude, have some mercy, Christ. This is so cool. This is awesome. I, I really need to test this out in like a max, like flat plane or something. Oh, look at him. He just got pushed to his doom. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. This is so cool. Well, anyway, guys, this is a really cool performance test. Um, this mod unlocks the performance test, which is in the game already, but locked for some reason. So it's basically just a JSON edit. You could, in theory, do it yourself, but if you don't care to do it, just install this mod and select it from the special one. So, I guess, end of showcase, you know what we have to do, destroy the universe. So, congrats, everyone. Sorry, Nomad, I know you just got the Citadel, but it is what it is. We tested the performance, and, uh, well, you know, all I can say is... Thanks for watching. Don't quit the video just yet. I have a whole outro plan, but performance test. Well, my friends, that is it for this week's Mod Showcase Monday. I hope you had a great time. And if you did, why not subscribe? It's literally free. Hit the big red subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment to let me know you are here. I read all the comments. Did you know that, Max? I read all the comments. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Drifter from Downloadable Content, and I will see you next time. Can you stab the horse like through the head while you're doing this? Oh god.